Hello, and welcome to another CryptoNation video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be using TrueCrypt to implement full disk encryption on Windows 7. This can also be done in Windows 2000, XP, and Vista. The last portion of this tutorial will cover how to remove full disk encryption. For this tutorial, you'll need to have TrueCrypt installed, as using TrueCrypt in portable mode to implement full disk encryption is not supported. Before we get started, please note, if you encrypt information and forget the password, your information may be lost permanently. While full disk encryption can help keep your computer file secure, there are known attacks against it, such as cold boot attacks, evil mate attacks, and keyloggers, to name a few. Additionally, full disk encryption does not protect against, and it is not a substitute for, antivirus or anti-malware software. To begin, launch TrueCrypt. Click Create Volume. Click Encrypt the System Partition or Entire System Drive, then click Next. Click Normal, then click Next. Click Encrypt the Whole Drive, then click Next. If you're not sure about encrypting the host protected area, click No, then click Next. Click Single Boot, then click Next. Please note, if you have a multi-boot system, please view the TrueCrypt user guide. Select the encryption algorithm and hash algorithm you want to use, then click Next. To read more about the available algorithms, please view the TrueCrypt user guide. Type in your password, then click Next. Please read the password suggestions, as choosing a secure password is extremely important for security. If your password is under 20 characters, you'll be prompted. If you want to use your short password, click Yes. Please read the notice about random mouse movements to create secure encryption keys. When ready, click Next. If prompted by Windows UIC, click Yes. When your keys are generated, click Next. Before continuing, you will be required to create a TrueCrypt rescue disk, as it may prove vital if you encounter an error. Please take a moment to read the rescue disk information. When ready, click Next. Please note, this tutorial does not cover how to install software to burn a rescue disk. If you are unsure how to burn a rescue disk, please take the time to research how to complete this step successfully. After your rescue disk has been burned onto a CD or DVD, click Next. TrueCrypt will attempt to verify the rescue disk data. After it has been verified, click Next. Please note, if the rescue disk verification failed, make sure the disk is in your drive or try to burn a new copy. Please take a moment to read the white mode information. For this tutorial, we'll leave white mode set to none. When ready, click Next. TrueCrypt will prepare to run a system encryption pretest. This will require restarting your system. When ready, click Test. Please take a moment to read the instructions. When ready, click OK. When ready to restart and test, click Yes. After your system restarts, type in your password at the prompt and press Enter. When your system loads, TrueCrypt should auto launch and display the pretest result. Please read the TrueCrypt warning about data backups and data loss. When ready, click Encrypt. Please take a moment to read how to use the TrueCrypt Rescue Disk. When ready, click OK. If prompted by Windows UAC, click Yes. TrueCrypt will now encrypt your entire disk. When the encryption process completes, you will be prompted. Click OK, then click Finish. Your system is now using full disk encryption, and each time you restart, you will be required to enter your password. The following portion of this tutorial covers removing full disk encryption. To begin, launch TrueCrypt. To view the status of the disk, click System Drive, then click Volume Information. When done, click OK. Click System, then click Permanently Decrypt System Partition Drive. TrueCrypt will prompt for confirmation. When ready, click Yes. TrueCrypt will prompt again for confirmation. When ready, click Yes. If prompted by Windows UAC, click Yes. TrueCrypt will now decrypt your entire disk. 
When the decryption process completes, you will be prompted. Click OK. Your system is no longer encrypted and will not require a password to start. Click Yes to finish and restart your system. If you like these video tutorials, please consider following us on Twitter at CryptoNation or subscribing to us on YouTube.com slash CryptNode for future updates. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. I hope you found it useful.